Talking about percentage yesterday. And Nelson. And if somebody if somebody answers wrong, don't say anything. And Nelson. Talking about percentage here. What do we think of when we think percentage? Yeah, think of 100. Normally, we change this to a fraction or a decimal or whatever. In this case, we're gonna, when it's percentage, we always put it over 100. The word of, every single time, no matter what it is, no matter what type of problem, it always, it always means multiplication. So of, of always means multiplication. So we have a math sentence. The sentence is that times 50 equals something. That is a math sentence. We change 50% to fractions, which we learned how to do yesterday. Of means multiplication. 50 equals something. Now, Ed Nelson, mm -hmm. what, is the, what does the of mean? Times. No, yeah, no, times, yeah, yeah, times. Multiplication, multiplication times. Mm -hmm. Every single time you see of, it means time. Every time you see of, you see time. Other words like that will give you a different procedure. But of always means time. If we just multiply across, because this is multiplication, 50 is like 50 over 100, and it's 50 over 1, it's 50. So it's 50 times 50 over 100. You, some of you can do it probably in your head, but 50 times 50, worst case, you do this, 50 times 50. Because it's 50 times 50. So it's 50 times 50. So it's 0, 0, 0, 25. We add straight down. 0, 0, 5, 2. If you don't know how to do it, go ahead. If you don't know how to do it in your head, worst case, you multiply it out. We'll do a few. So this one, 2,500. 2,500. So 50% of 50 is on the top 2,500. But that's the top. We multiply 50 times 50. What's on the bottom? Because you multiply the 50 and the 50. What was on the bottom? 100. 100. Now we have another division. Now we have a division problem. Now it's 2,500 divided by 100. 2,500 divided by 100. Last year we learned it. I mean, worst case, you divide it out. 25, 0, 0, divided by 100. That's what that means. 2,500 divided by 100. So you divide it. Well, let's see. This goes into this twice. That's 200. That's 50. Bring down the 0. That's 5. So our final answer is 25. What? Now think about it for a second. Okay, because 2,500 divided by 100 is 25. Now, if, if you are, if you once once you start doing a few problems, 50 percent, 50 percent is always half of something. That's why it's called 50 percent. Nelson, 50 percent of anything is half of it. What's half of 50? 25. 25. So anytime you're trying to find half of something, or 50% of something, it's just half of that amount. 
So what's half of 100? 50. 50. So if we were to do 50% of 100, it would be 50. Now there's, there's some problems that are different. Like 33. What's half of 33? Well, 33 divided by 2, and it's all decimal and stuff. But it's half of something. 50% is always half of something. Now this is a trick problem. This one here. 100% of 90. That, we, we do this normally, if we do it the long way. 100 over 100 times 90 equals. What's 100 over 100? Listen, listen. Those that are working it out. 100 over 100 is 1, Stephen. 100 over 100 is 1. Like 5 over 5 is 1. 25 over 25 is 1. So it's 1 times 90. So what is the final answer? 90, yeah. I mean, think about it. 100% of itself is itself. What's 100% of 1,000? 1,000 because it's, it's 100%. What's 100% of 75? 75, because it's 100 of that amount. Now, if you, if you multiply it out, you'll see 100 over 100, and you see, oh, that's 1. It still works out. The math language, the math sentence still works out. This one does not work out as far as doing it in your head. This one you actually have to do. And Nelson. Ninety yeah, percent of. You think percentage? What do you think of? One hundred. So we do ninety over a hundred. Of means multiplication. Seventy. Seventy. I'm gonna put over one. You can do it ten over ninety over a hundred. What number goes, this is more, more advanced. If you multiply this out, 90 times 70, and then divide it by 100, you get the right answer. But looking at 90 over 100, you always try to reduce, remember that yesterday? Try to make it small. The reason we try to make it small, it makes the multiplication smaller. What number goes into 90 and 100? 10. 10. So how many times does 10 go into 90? Nine. How many times does ten go in a hundred? Ten. ten. That's easier to multiply. So we try to reduce the fraction so we can multiply. It's still the same. If you multiply ninety times a hundred divided by hundred, so you get the answer. But this is a little easier. This is over one. So we need to multiply this. Seventy times nine. You guys are doing very well, by the way. Zero. Six thirty. Yeah, six thirty. Sixty-three. Over ten. So six thirty. Over ten. That means division. Six thirty divided by ten. I'm sorry. Divided by ten. Six thirty divided by ten. That's not that hard. Yeah. So 10 goes into 630 63 times. Now the answer that we get, 63, it's less than 70, so we know we're on a ballpark. If we had gotten 10,000, the answer doesn't make sense. If we had gotten two, no, 90% of 70 is not 2. But 63 is almost 70. 90%, that looks about right. And we did the math right. I think for this one...
I'm only going to give you four. Okay. Four, six, eight, and ten. Yeah, it's 40% of 80, 10% of 10, 30% of 30, and 80% of 40. He's four, that's homework. For every you no know, Christian school teachers, we don't make, we don't make that much money. You make nine dollars an hour. <laughs> no, I, I make more than that. No, no, he makes more than nine. Mr. Tucker said he made nine fifty an hour. Nine dollars an hour. No, he's joking. He's joking. No, I know. So oh, what I'm saying is, um, we're still not done. There, they have special. They have special McDonald's. I think Monday, or Wednesday, or something. A chicken sandwich or a hamburger or a cheeseburger, stuff like that. Um, we have class Friday. We have class Friday. Right? Yeah. Okay. After the quiz, there'll be a short quiz like this. I'll give everybody. Uh, I'll take your orders tomorrow and I'll give you that on Friday. Let's celebrate. Okay, everybody got it? Tomorrow I'll take your orders. Gentlemen, ladies, don't lose it. Okay. This goes back to your question, Samuel. Samuel, you brought up, well, what if it's bigger than the number? What if it's not like 80% or 90%? What if it's 300% of 82? Now, 300% of 82 is going to be bigger than 82. Because 100 is 82. 200 is more. 300 is more. It's still the same. We still follow the same math sentence. So this is 300. We still follow. It's a percentage. So you put it over 100. Same. Just because a number is bigger than 100 does not mean we don't do the same. All of means multiplication. 82. Again, we try to we try to reduce. Hey, we try to reduce, so it makes our multiplication easier. You normally reduce the ladies. You normally try to reduce the fraction. We ask ourselves. What number goes into 300 and 100? 30. 100. 100 goes into 300. And 100 goes into 100. So it's 3 over 1. That's an easy multiplication because it's just 3 times 82. Because 82 is over 1. So just to do 82 times 3, that's a 6, that's a 24. 246. Now somebody, that's the right answer, but somebody's going to say, well, that doesn't make sense because if this is 82, this is 246. It's bigger than 82. It's bigger than, it's 
bigger than 82 because we're looking for more than 100%. We're not looking for 200%, we're looking for 300%. And that idea is foreign to a lot of people. Do this one. Quietly, Jason. Do this one, please. This percentage, we put over 100. Okay, percentage. I'm just about to finish. You're just about to finish, gentlemen. Jamira, we're just about to finish. Don't ruin it. The last few minutes I'll give you for snacks. 200. Over 100, we know that already. Times 70. We try to reduce the fraction. How many times does 100 go into 200? Twice. It goes into 100 once. So it's 2 over 1 or just 2 times 70, that's just like over 1. Any number is like over 1. So we just multiply across. 70 times 2, 0, 14, 140. 140. The answer is 140 for that one. These are simple because their, their numbers that are, it's not like 133%. It's just 200 or 200 or 300 for this problem. I want you to do 2, 4, 6, and 8. You're almost there, Samuel. 2, 4, 6, and 8. 200% of 95. 300% of 38, 200% of 3, 200% of 3, you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure you get it, this is kind of new stuff. It's right there, it's homework. That's homework. That's homework, I know that. Write it down, write it down. I'll give you two minutes. I'm going to do it right now. How much do you think I'm going to get all right? I'm going to get it right. Okay, last one. Is it raining still? Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's the last type of problem. These type of problems, they're not 100 or 200 or 300. The numbers that are maybe less than 100, maybe more than 100, 
but they're not 100, 200, 300. It's 90 percent, 30 percent. Same profit, same type of problem, same way to do it. 90 over 100 times. Write this down, please. 83. Write this down, please. We try to reduce. One number goes into 90, one number goes into 100. Perfectly. 10. So this is 9 over 10. Eighty-three. So eighty-three times nine. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four. Okay, seven forty-seven. These numbers come out a little different. Because 83 is not like 10 or 20 or 30, and 90% 90, 90 is different. This number that doesn't look right. Oh, this is 747 divided by 10. <laughs> no, listen. Oh, point seven. Point seven. So yeah. Seven seventy four point seven. Okay, listen up. If I take seven forty seven divided by ten, Steven. If I take seven, I thought of this. This is the answer. But then I looked at. It, I'm like, that's too big. If the biggest number is eighty three. Seven forty seven is not right. But I have to divide by ten. When I divide 747 divided by 10, I get 74.7. That looks like the right answer. That's, that looks right. It's less than 83, which is 90%. Almost. We got three more and then home. Okay, 30% of 5. 30. Over 100. Does everyone, anyone see the pattern of this, this one here? Of the beginning? Yeah. Just because it's initially over 100, you can always reduce it. At least, at least for these. So this becomes... Sean, uh, your face is like this. Cause I'm lost. I don't know oh, what to do. Yeah, yeah, but you're That's looking at me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't keep you used It's like uh. Well, was, no, no. I was thinking about fudge. No, no, but, but <laughs> you're, you're looking. You're looking at me like the Unabomber, like. I was. I was so lost. Okay. I was staring at the problem thing. I could do it in my head, but I just completely spaced out. Okay, thirty over hundred. Five over six. <laughs> that reduces to three over ten. <laughs> Times five. That's fifteen. Over ten. <laughs> yes, one point five. Very good. Gentlemen. 1.5. This is the last tower problem for today. Let me give you the four. Okay. This one. I can't believe you almost left. I said green. No, green is purple. Okay, ten percent of seven. Eighty percent of three. Ten percent. Eighth grade. You almost made it. 
Ten percent of seventy. Ten percent of seven. Oh, so we can ten percent. Eighty percent of three. A hundred percent of one forty-eight. And the last one's hard to see. Forty percent of one seventy-three. That's your homework. Do it Friday. Come on, guys, get the I don't know how you can do that, but I hear it. My hurt my head. I love it. I be just like this. Like, no, Jason, I mean, Jason, we be sitting with you.